Good evening, this is Michael Hanley from AmericanChina.org out of Suzhou. In this video, I'm going to discuss my experiences at the Grand Prix party at the nightclub called Mint in Shanghai last Saturday night. Specifically in regards to me being outclassed by the taller men in the club. I'm 183 centimeters, which is six foot. Usually when I go to clubs, and that's even Western clubs, I'm above average in height. <clears throat> now, when I'm in China, the average height here among Chinese is about five foot six, and I'm considered quite tall. However, in Mint, there are only a handful of Chinese in there, and they weren't in the game, so it really didn't make any difference. <laughs> it was predominantly Western men in there, in Europe, Mainly, I didn't meet any Americans, though there may have been Americans in there, I just didn't meet them. Maybe some Australians as well. The height had to have been 6'3 to 6'4 on average. I've never been to a club where there were that many men who were 6'3 or 6'4. It was just utterly mind boggling. And you could clearly see the women taking an interest in the taller men. And this is part of hypergamy. If you stick men in a dating pool, the women, women, even the short women, and the women who are not that attractive, are going to shoot for the taller men. They just don't go for the men in the 70 or 80th percentile in terms of height. They go right for the men in the top 5 percentile. <laughs> It's the reality of the situation. Um, I did have somewhat of an advantage over many of the men in terms of physique, and that's just simply just because I work at it. But, you know, unless they were disfigured in the face or they were morbidly obese, there was really no way I was going to be able to compete with them. I mean, they had attractive faces, by and large. Uh, had a strong jawline, elongated jawline is what is attractive, and many of them had it. So there's no way I was going to win in that department. And they also had full heads of hair, and I've got a shaved head, so I was at a disadvantage there. I don't think that baldness gives you an advantage because it doesn't, notwithstanding the fame of The Rock or Jason Statham. I mean, these men would be attractive if they had hair as well. They probably would be more attractive if they had hair. And that's a whole different topic for a different video. Point being, I guess, I really didn't have much of a chance against these guys in their 20s who are 6'3 and 6'4 in terms of attracting the women in the club, and it was noticeable. The shorter Asian girls that are in the club, maybe fives or sixes, I'll give them a six. That's pushing it. They didn't have curves, didn't have large breasts, some had hardly any breasts at all. And they were out there on the dance floor and they were eyeing these guys and drawing them into them and they weren't putting eye contact on me. And I was right on the dance floor, I was right in the thick of the game. They were going after these six three, six four four guys, white guys, attractive faces. And uh, I saw some of them and close physical proximity, they were making out with some of them. There's you know, definitely a physical interaction, and which is indicative of the fact that they were sexually attracted to these men, and that wasn't happening to me. I don't know if these men knew these Asian girls before they met them in the club, and they may have, I, I don't know, or maybe it was just time to spur the moment. There's no way that I could possibly ascertain this information unless I asked, and I certainly wasn't going to go ahead and do that. So I just have to make, uh, have to guess. Uh, I assume some of them just met him at the club. I don't know whether they went home with him that night or not. Who knows? Travel or die with AmericanChina.org.